Uh, here are those uh, answers that I wanted you to use to prepare for the exam. Uh, it was not uh, given to you as a quiz, but just uh, study these. Question 1. There are three point charges located at uh, one of them is at one meter. That's a two micro column. The second one is 3 micro at x is equal to 0 and the third one is at minus 1 meter and it's uh, what minus 5 micro column. So get this diagram right. So you have 3 charges there. 2 micro, 3 micro and 5 micro. Okay. And you're asked to find the force on the 3 micro column charge. And so you are looking for the force in this one. Now since this is a positive charge, it's going to repel this to the left. And since this is a negative charge, it's going to attract the 3 to the left. So both the forces on the 3 micro coulomb is to the left. So what we got to do is find them individually and add them. So let's find those forces. I've called them F. 3, 5, that means force on 3 due to 5 and force on 3 due to 2. The equation is k q1 q2 by r squared. That is the force on 3 due to 2. And next, you have the force on 3 due to 5. Now, both the distances are just 1 meters. You know that this distance is 1, this is 1. Net force is the sum of the two because of what I told you at the beginning. Yeah, that's 5 times 3, 15, 3 times 2, 6. So k is common there. Now finally I'm substituting the value of k which is 9 times 10 to the 9. And uh, the final answer is 0.189 Newton. The second one, a piece of plastic has a net charge of positive 2 microcoulomb. How many more protons than electrons does this piece of plastic have? All right, for this we use Q, Q is equal to N times E, where E is the charge of the electron. And uh, so just to find the number of Uh, protons, because remember protons have the same charge as that of the electron. So this could be the charge of the proton. And so you get it as 1.25 times 10 to the positive 13 protons. And third one, a force of 10 newtons acts on a charge of 5 microcoulomb when it is placed in a uniform electric field. What is the magnitude of this field? Straightforward question. We know that intensity of a field is F divided by Q. Here the force is given as 10 and the charge is 5 microcoulomb. So just divide and you get it as 2 times 10 to the 6 Newton per coulomb. That is the intensity. Number 4. 3 Three microcoulomb charges are at the three corners of a square of side 0 0.50 meter. The last corner is occupied by a negative three microcoulomb charge. Find the electric field at the center, at the center of the square. Let's get the diagram. That is the square. And these are the charges. And uh, that's the negative charge on which we are trying to find the force right there. And what's important is to know that if the side of the square is 0.5, half of the diagonal would be 0.5 by root 2. Okay? Because we're asked to find the electric field at the center. And I'm trying to explain why we get that, and they should understand that uh, both of these would be you know, this would be 0 0.5 and this would be 0 0.5, which is what I've shown there. And therefore, this would be using the Pythagorean theorem. 
Uh, I actually have taken this whole thing as a right angle triangle. That's why I said half of that. In any case, that's the distance. And then look at the direction of the forces. When you're asked to find the field here, you got to imagine that there is a plus one coulomb kept there. Now this three micro coulomb is going to repel that towards this side and this one is going to do the same in the opposite side. So these two forces will cancel each other. Now this being a negative charge is going to attract that plus one coulomb in this direction and this again being a positive charge is going to push this positive one coulomb in the same direction. So finally you get this and the two forces are going to be the same in magnitude but you got to double them to get the total force. Okay, forces due 2 and 3 cancel out. Force due to 1 and 4 add up. And they are equal in magnitude and it's a KQ1, Q2 by R squared. Three micro coulomb. You have uh, okay. That distance was point three five. So you have the total force as two hundred and sixteen times uh, ten to the power three multiplied by two. That is four hundred and thirty two times ten to the three newtons. And in the fifth question, you have a 5 coulomb charge 10 meters from a small test charge. What is the magnitude of the force experienced by a 1 nano coulomb charge placed at the location of the test charge? Now that's an easy thing. You have the force given and the force is kq1, q2 by r squared. And k is 9 times 10 to the 9. Uh, first, it is the force between a 5 coulomb and one nano coulomb, right? One five and one nano coulomb. Uh, so you get it as 0 0.45 newton. The direct application of the formula. Six, right there. A particle with a charge of four micro coulomb has a mass of five times 10 to the negative three kilogram. What electric field directed upward will exactly balance the weight of the particle? So in this case, you have the gravitational force trying to pull the particle down, that's its weight, while the electric field which is directed upward is trying to balance it. Therefore, you just set the two equal forces, I mean, equal, the forces equal to each other, which is mg is the weight is equal to q times z. What's q times z? That's the force uh, on the particle. Force is q times z, and therefore, you can find e as mg by q, and uh, the mass is 5 times 10 to the minus 3 times 9.8 divided by 4 micro coulomb is 4 times 10 to the minus 6. That gives you 12.25 times 10 to the 3 newton per coulomb, which may also be written as 1.2 times 10 to the 4 newton per Brings coulomb. us to the seventh question. What is the charge on 1 kilogram of protons? So in this case, you have one kilogram of protons. We've got to find out how many protons are there, for which uh, you divide one kilogram by the mass of one proton. Because if you do that, uh, you get the number of protons, right? So that's the mass of the proton. It will be given to you, and uh, you get the number of protons. Now, since you know the charge of one proton, just multiply the number of protons with the charge of one of them to get the total charge. So that's 9.6 times 10 to the 7 coulomb and that's what we've been using Q is equal to n times e. In the eighth one an atomic nucleus has a charge 40 times e. Ah, uh, That means 40 times the charge of the electron. What's the magnitude of the electric field at a distance of one meter from the nucleus? Okay. So Q is 40 times E, which is 40 times the charge of the electron. 
Okay, so you get the charge of the nucleus now. And you're asked to find the electric field at a distance of 1 meter from the nucleus. Kq by R squared. Why Kq? Because the other charge is a 1 coulomb, remember? So 64 times minus 19, which is the charge of the nucleus, divided by the distance, which is 1 square of that. And you get 5.76 times 10 to the negative 8 Newton per nine. coulomb. You have these three charges, Z3, yes, Q1, Q2, Q3. What is the direction of the net force on the 5 nanocoulomb charge? You have to carefully look at the coordinates given. Uh, one is 0 0.30, that means the y coordinate is 0, that means this is on the x axis. And uh, this is on the y axis, this is at the origin. Therefore, when you make that diagram, you're going to get this. Okay, so one charge on the x, the other at the origin, and the third on the y-axis. It's 6 nanocoulombs minus 1 and 5. And how do you get those forces? Uh, this, these two are positives, therefore the force on this one is going to be a repulsive force. And uh, now this is going to be attracted by this. We're trying to find the force on the 5 nanocoulomb. So you have one force this way, the other. And that, in that direction, and I've named them 5, 1, 5, 6. And you know, force on 5 due to 6 and force on 5 due to 1. And uh, let's find those two forces using Coulomb's law. Uh, this is one of the forces, and I'm just leaving K as it is there. I've left it there to finally substitute, and this is the second force. Just be careful with the distances and all that. And that is the resultant force. And how do you find the resultant of this? You're only asked to find the direction. So to find the direction, you take tan theta is opposite side by hypotenuse. I mean, oh, sorry, opposite side by adjacent side, and you get uh, the angle. And that angle is that 56 degrees above the negative x axis, as you can see, because that's the negative x axis, and that's the negative x axis. Brings us to the last one. A 5 microcoulomb charge is placed at the 0 centimeter of a meter stick. And a minus 4 microcoulomb is placed at the 50 centimeter. At what point on a line joining the two charges is the electric field 0? That's the diagram. One at the 0, the other at the 50 centimeter. And, uh, okay. You know, because one is positive, the other is negative, you're never going to get the electric field between them to be zero. No way. So we are assuming that this is the point where if you keep a one plus one coulomb, the forces are going to cancel out. Why? Let's look at it carefully. This negative charge is going to attract it. And this positive charge is going to repel it. So you see F15 and F14. And those two forces can be equal and opposite. Uh, because, you know, this is closer to the smaller charge and farther away from the stronger charge. So this point could never have been on the other side in this case. So now find the two forces and set them equal to each other. F15, force on 1 due to 5. And force on one due to four. So you get. Now see why the distance is 0.5 plus x here because this is 0.5 and this is x. That's why you have 0.5 plus x. But in this case, it's only x. So set them equal to each other. And uh, when you set them equal to each other, the k's will cancel out. 
The 10 to the negative 6 can be cancelled and I've taken square root on both sides because that's easy. So it will be square root of 5 and square root of 4 is 2. And here you get rid of the squares but when you take the square root. And then cross multiply this which I've done. And uh, x is common when you bring this factor to the other side. Separate x and find x is 4.2 meter from the zero it's going to be 0 0.5 plus 4.2 which is 4.7 meter because what we got was the distance from here so you got to add the 0.5 right so that's the answer good luck and use this to prepare for the exam thank you